12.9 a 12.5 electron volt electron beam is used to bombard gaseous hydrogen at room temperature what series of wavelength will be emitted now the energy incident that is 12.5 electron volt it implies that 12.5 electron volt energy will be absorbed now ground state energy at room temperature that is minus 13.6 electron volt so if 12.5 electron volt energy is absorbed then we will get the total energy that is minus 13.6 plus 12.5 and you will get minus 1.1 electron volt okay but this minus 1.1 electron volt that is the energy very close to the energy in n equal to 3 state okay so we can say this thing when 12.5 electron volt energy is absorbed then electron will jump to n equal to 3 state now when it jump to n equal to 3 state then after the possible transitions are like this from 3 to 2 then 2 to 1 and one transition is possible 3 to directly 1 okay so in this way we will get three spectral lines so for 3 to 1 you will get Lyman series as well as when it jump from 3 to 2 you will get Balmer but again when it jump from 2 to 1 you will get Lyman series so in 3 to 1 jump or 2 to 1 in these transitions you will get Lyman series and for the transition from 3 to 2 you will get Balmer series it implies that now the transition from 3 to 1 so energy difference minus 1.5 minus minus 13.6 so that is 12.1 electron volt now e that is hc by lambda so lambda that is hc by e substitute the value of h 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to minus 34 c that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 and energy that is 12.1 electron volt so multiply by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 this much joule and you will get the wavelength emitted then for the transition 2 to 1 the energy difference so energy in level 2 that is minus 3.4 for 1 minus 13.6 so difference of these two that is 10.2 electron volt and now lambda that is hc by e again substitute the values you will get the emitted wavelength then for the possible transition of 3 to 2 you will get bummer so 3 to 2 so energy associated with third state that is minus 1.5 for second one that is minus 3.4 so resultantly you will get minus 1.5 minus minus 3.4 that is 1.9 electron volt so you will get again lambda that is hc by e substitute the values of hc and this e obtain you will get the wavelength emitted clear to all of you same example is repeated by taking the energy 12.1 electron volt so if the energy absorbed by the electron in ground state that is 12.1 then the total energy of electron will be ground state energy minus 13.6 plus 12.1 so now the energy that will be minus 1.5 electron volt so now with this much energy electron will be in which state so that we can calculate like this 
en equal to minus 13.6 upon n square. So n square equal to minus 13.6 divided by minus 1.5. So here you will get answer that is 9. So n equal to 3. Directly you can understand yes now the electron is in n equal to 3 state. Okay. So when electron is in n equal to 3 state then how many possible spectral lines can be obtained. So if the transition is from 3 to 1, then we will get second line of Bummer, sorry, Lyman, second line of Lyman. Then if the transition is from 3 to 2, then we will get first line of Bummer. Then from 2 to 1, we will get first line of Lyman. And then we can calculate all the wavelengths in this way. Now here this generalized equation always remember that is useful for entrance examination. Number of spectral lines obtained that is equal to n n minus 1 by 2. It implies that when electron is in nth state and when it is transited from nth state to ground state with multiple transitions at that time the total number of spectral lines obtained that will be n into n minus 1 by 2. See here electron is in third state. So if we substitute here 3 then 3 into 3 minus 1 by 2. So this 3 minus 1 is 2 and these 2 cancel your final answer will be 3. So you will get total 1, 2, and three spectral lines. Clear to all of you?